Okay, short video here. It's just a sneak peek of what's coming at you tomorrow. Um, we're going to relay this stuff to real life. Okay, students sell small and large greeting cards. The small cards cost $3 each. The large cards cost $5 each. The student sells 25 cards that make a total of $95. How many of each type of card were sold? So I've got small cards, large cards, and money, so that's three units. So that's why you see this table here. Okay, how many single total, and I put the money on top of single and money total, and then total goes here, and then I take my small and large, okay? Now, when we do these, I want to start doing it this way. Um, I want you to put your total cost right here. You know the total cost was $95. Cross it out. Okay, now I want to look at my top row. That's how many small, how many large, and how many total. That How many means not the money amount, not how much it costs, not money amount, okay? How many? So basically I'm looking for numbers that don't have dollar signs. That's got a dollar sign. That doesn't belong here. That has a dollar sign. Doesn't belong here. Okay, that doesn't have a dollar sign. That goes here. But it just said the student sells 25 cards. It doesn't say if those were small or large. So we will be putting 25 here. And the small and large are assigned X and Y. They have to be different letters. Okay, now let's fill this row out. Cross out 25. You already put that down. So three's a money. Now I'm looking for money amounts. Three's a dollars amount, and that's small, so three. Five's a large, so five. And then X times three is, and then you want to multiply. You don't know how many small cards, but you know they're $3 each. So X multiplied by three is 3X, three and Y times five is 5Y. Okay, now you're wondering, what's with the cross? Well, you have to make a cross because these letters are not the same. They're different. So that means you're going to have to write a couple equations. Circle the top row and circle the bottom row. And from the top, you'll write X plus Y equals 25. And then you will put ones in front of these. Just it's good to have ones because neither one's by itself. I mean, they're together, so we want numbers in front. And then you will write the bottom row, 3x plus 5y equals 95. And then we will use, we don't have a base, and then we would do the that and all that. Okay, don't have to do it today, we'll do it tomorrow.